It's been so long and I'm so ready. It is time for Scarlet and Violet pre-releases. We did this last couple of sets and everybody really loved it. If you missed it for Silver Tempest, a link up here, a little picture maybe, if uh, our editor's a lovely dude, and he is. Shout out to MWDC. But yeah, so uh, these are finally here and pre-releases start this weekend, the 18th, and run through the next week before this set officially releases on the 31st. Uh, but yeah, this is the build and battle kit for the pre-release. Uh, of course, uh, this is the perfect time to get into the game, even though it says it's a level two product. It's super straightforward and super easy. Uh, so inside you're gonna get a 40 card ready to play deck, including one of four promo cards, four booster packs of the brand new expansion and a code card for TCG Live. But yeah, uh, so when you're gonna go to one of these events, what you wanna do is you're gonna find one on Pokemon.com, use the event locator, put in your zip code and find one near you. But yeah, let's just dive right in. Don't forget though, if you do go to a pre-release, all you really need is some damage counters, your play mat if you have one, and some sleeves. So make sure you've got a pack of sleeves on handy. I like the Ultimate Guard Katana sleeves, some people like Dragon Shields. So keep that in mind. Just make sure you get some sleeves. And uh, yeah, let's just, just dive in without further ado here. I know I'm... Um, and you'll be given anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes to build a deck out of the contents inside. And then you'll play best of one rounds with 40 card deck, four prize cards. Uh, you do get a little pamphlet in here and we'll look over that real quick. Begin a new adventure with Pokemon EX, and of course there are some deck building tips, but we'll we'll cover the deck on our own. And here is the Scarlet and Violet card list. So I'll just slow roll through this so you guys can get an idea. Rarity symbols have changed to an extent. We now have double star, as well as double gold star and double triple star, and you can see all the secret rares and everything up here. 258 cards in this set, so enjoy. And of course, we will get our 40 card deck. Here is ours. We have a Paw Mod in here with the promo. Uh, the uh, cover card of your deck is one of four, and they are limited to these products only. You're only gonna get them in these things. And of course, the code card is on the back. So let's dive into the deck first and go over the cards. That way I can give you some sort of like potential building help and strategy. Of course, I am gonna keep the code card for myself for live. Expect some live streams to resume over on Twitch for this one. It comes out on PDCGO. And we get this like some little card on the back here. And of course, some trainer tips on here. This is definitely something new. Uh, so it's gonna talk about Palmot and Vivillion. Uh, so that's kind of cool, little tip. So I think we have Palmot and Vivillion in here. And of course, here is the promo. 130 HP Palmot stage to that beautiful foil border and scarlet and violet stamp. The ability Electrogenesis. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a basic lightning energy attached to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. And then for two lightning and a close, it does 230 damage, discarding all energy from this Pokemon. So this is your big finisher. Of course, we got basic energy. And to note now that there is the symbols down on the bottom left. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten basic lightning energy. And we got some grass as well. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, seven grass and 10 lightning. That's a lot of energy. Here is the Pommy, silver border. We have light punch for 10 and zap kick for 20 for two energy. We got a scatter bug adaptive evolution that can evolve the first turn or the turn you play it really cool. And we got Spupa it has the same ability. So you can go from Spupa, uh, from scatter bug to Spupa into Vivlion, but we didn't get that right out of the gate yet. Here's Pomo, the stage one from Pommy into Pommot. Thunder shock for 30, flip a coin for paralysis and Headbolt for 70. Here is another Palmot. This is a non-hollow. Uh, this should be probably a hollow rare exclusive since non-hollow rares have done away in the main set itself. And of course, same ability, same attacks, just a different artwork to help your deck be a little bit more consistent. We have Nimona. First look at this, draw three cards, same as the old Sharon, Tierno, uh, Hop, How. We had a Nest Ball, super awesome reprint to get this in here. Uh, definitely going to be a staple card in most decks. So check for basic Pokemon, then put it onto your bench, and then shuffle your deck. Really good to have this in here for deck building. Here is our look at the Vivlion. Uh, you have Miracle Power for 50 for one. Pretty cool. Flip a coin of heads. Choose a special condition. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now affected by that special condition. That's really cool in sealed play to be able to go boop, boop in one turn, one attach, and then to, you know, uh, miracle powder and if you need oh crap i need to do tw 70 damage i can put burn i want to poison them oh i want to paralyze them i want to put them to sleep and buy some time really cool there 
We get a rare candy to skip stages. That's super awesome for this. And we got another Palmy, another Scatterbug, another Spupa. First look at Youngster here. Shuffle your hand in your deck, then draw five cards. Same as Shauna, basically a functioning reprint. We have Jock. Search your deck for two evolution Pokemon. Reveal them and then put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Really cool. I got another Vivlion here, another Nimona, another Palmont, another Palmo, another Palmy, another Scatterbug, and a, another Spupa, and another Nest Ball. So that's really cool. I'm going to get these sorted and off to the side. We'll open the packs, and then we'll see what we end up doing with our deck. All right, deck is out of the way, and we have our four packs of Scarlet and Violet. These are my first ones, 10 additional cards as always. Super excited to get into this. Uh, I don't think we got to do a card trick anymore, so this is going to be super cool. Here's a look at the pack. Begin a new adventure with Pokemon EX. Um, again, I'm very excited for this. And the code card is on the back, so we're just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. And again, I will probably be giving away some codes over on Twitch streams. And all oh, right out of the gate, my favorite Pokemon, Mareep, Ampharos, and Flaffy, of course. Uh, so right out of the gate, we get the Mareep. Super excited for this. We have Silicobra. Bisharp, Riolu, Dash Bun. This has an ability, Well Baked Body. This Pokemon can't be burned. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's fire Pokemon. We have Torkoal. Uh, shout out to Vulcan Turtle TCG, his favorite Pokemon. We've got Stampede and Consecrated Fire on here. We got Scovillain, Hot Bite and Super Spicy Breath. We got our first ever reverse foil from Scarlet and Violet, Crocolore. The stage one evolution from Fue Coco. Really awesome uh, print on these reverse foils. I like that a lot. We got a reverse foil Primeape. Really awesome. And the card behind it is a hollow rare Clef Key with the Mischievous Lock ability. This thing is going to be absolutely insane in the standard format. Mischievous Lock says, as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, basic Pokemon to play, both yours and your opponents, have no abilities except for Mischievous Lock. This is going to be really good, shutting off things like Clef Key, Radiant Greninja, Radiant Charizard, just so many different things uh, when it's in the active spot. This with a path at the same time feels absolutely disgusting. And of course we have Joust. Before doing damage, this card all Pokemon cool tool cards from your opponent's active Pokemon. So really awesome to get this as a foil and we get our basic energy in the back of every pack. So your packs are now technically two reverse foils and a hollow rare or higher. So we'll see what ends up happening. Uh, so far for our deck, I don't think any of these are going to do us any good, but we'll see what happens out of the next couple of packs. Pack number two with the core ride on on it. The pack texture is definitely a little bit different than before. Uh, the code card is super damaged off the back here. And we'll flip it around. Again, you don't have to do a card trick anymore. You can just take the energy off the far back if you really want to. So here's a basic psychic. We'll get that out of the way. And of course, we can start off with the Go Goat here. Rising Lunge and Solar Beam. We've got another Scatter Bug. Definitely going to go into the deck because the deck doesn't apply to the rule of four when it comes to pre-release, which is super exciting. we got a Sprigatito. Grass Kitty Starter. We got Houndour. Wink Alone. Not the Wink Alone EX. Definitely going to expect a deck profile from that in the future here on the channel. We've got a Breloom. We got Kilowattril, Skill Dive, and Thunder Blast here. Reverse Foil Tandem Mouse. Uh, again, these reverse foils are absolutely awesome. And we have a hollow, reverse hollow Houndoom, I apologize. And behind it, we got a full art Magnezone EX, our first EX, our first full art from Scarlet and Violet. 330 HP with Energy Crush, 50 times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. Really cool, really cool. And Pulse Launcher for two lighting and does 220 damage, hurts itself for 30, and has a three retreat cost week, two fighting type. But this is super pretty. I'm glad we have full arts like this continuing on into the game. All right, next pack, another Coridon. We didn't get a Maridon pack. We did get a Gyarados, but we'll save the Gyarados for last. I think, again, every pack is going to have the black code cards. So you don't have to worry about those spoiling anything. And again, energy off the back. We got a fire this time. And we can continue on here. We have a Sandile, another Houndoom, Fido, Scatterbug again. Super awesome. Stone Journer, oh, the Yukimori artwork. Uh, my partner Emily collects Yukimori cards, so she's going to absolutely love this. Exoskeleton says this attack, this Pokemon takes 20 damage less from attacks. Not bad. We got our first Penny, 
put a basic Pokemon and alt cards attached to it into your hand. That's kind of cool. Uh, that might be useful in the pre-release format here. We got a Metacham with Acupunk, Acupuncture, oh my god, and Kick Shot. Reverse Foil Crocodile. Yo, okay, we have a Art Rare King Gamut with Leadership Ability. Your basic Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's actually pretty cool. And we have Hack At for one dark, two colors. It does 160 damage. Really pretty. And behind it, we got a Hollow Rare Houndstone Evolves from Gravard. Uh, we get it a Hollow Gravard in the Mimikyu EX box. If you missed that, link will be somewhere popping up onto the screen here. Last Respects for two Psychic. 80 plus, 10 more damage reach. Psychic Pokemon in your discard pile. Not that bad, but again, not being a double colorless makes it a little bit awkward. So far, really banger packs. This is the last one, and we'll see what we can do with the deck. Okay, get the code out of here and take the energy off. We get a water this time. And we got a Flittle. Starly, another Yugamori. Shroomish. Mankey. Mousehold, the evolution of Tana Mouse. Vitality Band, really awesome trainer card. The attacks of this Pokemon that's attached to do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's basically like, uh, uh, it's a reprint of, um, oh man, uh, Vitality Band. <laughs> and we have Toxtricity here, evolution of Toxel, Yank Away, and Thunder. We got a Reverse Growlithe, a Foil Lechonk, and an Oinkalone EX. Actually super stoked about this. I uh, expect a deck profile on the channel with Oinkalo, and we got the reverse foil of Chonk to go with it too. So this is gonna definitely shake up our deck construction actually. I'm really excited about the Oinkalo here. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this card is insane. We have 260 HP on this thing, two attacks. Maddening Scent, 10 plus 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. This in the pre-release format is absolutely insane. And even in standard, it's absolutely insane. And of course you have Heavy Stomp for three colors, 210 damage, flip a coin if tails during your opponent's next turn, this or during your next turn, this Pokemon can attack. So really awesome. And the foil pattern, the glitter sparkles, uh, really awesome. So I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna get everything sorted and we'll take a look at how we're gonna construct our pre-release deck. Okay, so this here is the 40 card deck that was uh, sealed together. And these are the cards I'm gonna try and add into the deck. So we have a three, two, three line of Palma and honestly, I think I just kinda wanna cut the Palma all together. Um, I don't think it's super good. Electrogenesis isn't really needed, it hits for 230, but we have this big behemoth Oinkalone EX. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut away all of these cards here. So that opens up five, eight spaces for new cards. So right out of the gate, we have a one Lechonk and one Oinkalone. I know that's a little bit dangerous since we didn't get any other Lechonk in our box here. So double check in, double check in. I, yeah, I don't think we did get any at all. We could potentially use the Tandem Mouse and Mouse Hold, but it does more damage for every Mouse Hold in play. So it's only gonna ever do 70 for one in this instance here. We could potentially add this Wink alone, but I'm not going to as well. And then we wanna add in the two Scatterbugs. We can technically play five Scatterbug here uh, three Spupa, two Vivlion, and we can add in the Penny and the Vitality Band. So we added one, two, three, four, five, six cards, and we cut out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need to add one more card here. Um, and to note, we could actually get a little bit crazy. If if we expected something going on here we, with basic Pokemon, and we knew a little bit more about the other build and battle kits, we could potentially play things like the uh, Klefki, I think another cool inclusion could be the one of Fido and the Dash Bun. Just to potentially wall out fire Pokemon. Uh, I think the, the pre-release promos off the top of my head are Reveroom, Palmot, uh, Quackaval, the, the water full evolution, and Halucha. So there's no fire per se in the, um, the box itself. But I think, I think we add these here and then we cut out the lightning energy and then I would go and grab enough psychic energy to round the deck out to 40. So 
We, uh, we needed to add one. We technically added one, so now we overdid one. So I would just take one more lightning energy away and replace these with your psychic. Uh, potentially, actually, I would just max out on grass and play like two or three psychic energy for the most sense. I, I wish we did hit more trainer cards in our packs. Uh, we got some awesome stuff like that King Gambit. And of course, the, um, where is it at? The Magna Zone here. Um, but yeah, I think this is the way I would end up playing the deck is mostly grass energy to fulfill Miracle Powder and Bug Buzz. A couple psychic for the use of Dash Bun and Oink alone can use whatever since it is colorless. But that's the deck I would end up playing with some sort of energy combination. Hopefully this helps you get to your events, win some extra packs if you guys do competitive prizing at your events. When I run mine, I always opt to let the players at the beginning of the event start uh, let, them, let them make the decision, but that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, Smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe become a member to support content like this uh, It really means a lot to me. Of course follow me over on Twitch on Twitter all the socials and I'll see you guys uh, with a full-on Booster box of Scarlet and Violet in the next couple of days much love Steuben out